hello hello my lovelies Sigita here and yes flip flop journal guys uh i had in a comment uh you know to try a flip flop journal and and like she wanted to have a look my take on it and i was like what a flip flop journal what, what is it i even didn't know what it is i had kind of missed it you know guys and she mentioned a lady of uh, 507 Willow House Journals that, you know, please have a look. She's making that um, a journal, like how she's making it. I did, I did ask, is it like um, accordion style journals? And, you know, I know uh, how I've been making this accordion style journal and then you put signatures in in all folds she said no uh yes and it's not really that's uh that's correct it's not really accordion of course i went to see what she's making i watched another videos but i went back to 507 <laughs> let's shorten her so <laughs> What can I say? Very, fun. she's very fun. Very funny video. Uh, you know, she's like trying and can't remember and stuff like that. And that's exactly how we do work, right? She's like showing exactly how work goes, right? So a really nice video, guys. I will put uh, her video down below because I'm showing her kind of video. Definitely, this is not mine at all. Only mine, I am, as you can see, I have papers. I'm not using envelopes and uh, maybe easier way I'm trying to do. So, yeah, let's, let's see. So what's happening is, what's happening is uh, uh, that lady was using uh, envelopes. Uh, most of the girls were using envelopes. I don't have envelopes that kind of then i have to purchase i said oh, no i don't want it and i like envelopes i like of uh working with envelopes but uh, i don't like to uh, like strengthen them and then i have to put you know another papers on and then that glue and that paper goes wrinkly and all stuff that stuff i don't like it because and then we have to strengthen all fold bits because that envelope is far too thin to hold them um, uh, like signature uh, envelope is thin itself so that's you have to all that strengthen ties that's very time consuming to guys you know to be very honest uh, i have been doing that but i do like uh, journals uh, uh, what people have been creating one was beth something beth journals very nice journal right anyway uh yeah my take on it Basically, guys, it is contentino or accordion style folding. It is, but there is one but. It's folded differently, right? So what I what I'm showing you now, I'm showing very very base for you to understand. The easier way to fold it, right? It's exactly the same what she have right so we are having little flip out so it would be signature here right like signature would go here then we have yes we have pocket then we have journal like signature here then we have signature here and then we have signature here four signatures right we still st we, we still could have signature as well here but she i think cut this one shorter so and then we turn now we have signature here or we can have his signature here as well yeah this is she had uh, yeah signature did I, did I fold? No, I fold it wrong. Yeah, this way. Yeah, signature here, pocket. 
signature here, signature here, right? And then she flips around and signature here. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four. Four signatures. Yeah, that's correct. So, okay, let's start. I will show you. This is going to be base. I will be making it. I really, uh, really want to see what I come up with. I'm going to make this. Only thing is, I will be cutting every that piece separate. And I will be joining them together with fabric strips. And then I will be folding in a way I, to, uh, to, to achieve that journal fold. Right? But base is the same. So I, maybe you want to use like cardstock or stuff like that, or just make sample to understand how to fold it, because all, uh, all, all interest, all interest in in a folding, guys. Right? Okay. No measurements. Right? This as well as always. I'm just folding just to show basic base. Right? Uh we are starting with pocket, right? So I'm taking just normal uh, copy paper. Measurement, just in a case you are interested. This is 4 inches or 10 centimeters. So I am not really measuring. I'm just folding like that. You may, maybe this is not a right for Treller's notebook size, uh, I still don't have no uh, actual size for Treller's notebook, but I know it's like narrow and slim. Anyway, so, somehow it feels a little bit. Wider. Okay, like that. Is it full? So, and then this one we, I'm just tearing off. So, we are having this base. So, this is going to be pocket. Right. For pocket, what I, what we will do, we will glue it together, but not yet. So, to know that this is going to be pocket, I am making a little notch. Which is not making because the paper is too slice, too thin. But anyway, just this is for you know showing purposes. Right, little notch. Now you need two, two, the same size as it is this pocket. Right, two plus folding line so here I'm just making folding line and from that I'm just steering so you will need something like this right the same plus folding line and now I'm folding that inside and And I'm folding it. So this is our pocket, not glued together. So I'm just thinking now because I'm turning and tossing this paper. If you are using, if you are using like pattern pa patterned paper or some design papers, right? Then you have to look how that design goes, right? Fold this little fold here we need on both of them we need on the left side so what we are going to do with this fold as she does we are going to fold she's like putting in an envelope to glue it down right we are doing the same just kind of our envelope is open so this is why I did not glue together, right? Because we are going to glue in a minute. So this little 
lap we overlap in here right so we are pushing under this stays look under okay it stays under so we're gluing on so this is inside of the pocket now we can easily glue together our pocket right look we have pocket and that paper stays under and what happens now you're pulling it back out she's folding it back right you just fold it back all right so pocket we glued it in and now you are folding back look right when you open when you open look you have um yeah you have accordion style accordion style right goes can you see that way right accordion style so what we do now next we need another the same oh i don't have just a second i just take a, another paper so exactly the same you need exactly the same so i'm like kind of measuring this way My measurements are horrible, guys. <laughs> right, so I need on a four. Uh, on a four. I have to bend it on a four. Fold it, not bend it. This is really, really basic, guys, but this is how I work. Right, on a four. So I'm just measuring this width, look, here. And this, look, we have extra. That extra, we again folding. We do it a fold line. Fold line is on our left again. And simply, we are joining them together. So you without you know all this stuff if you know how to do accordion just glue together accordion so you need one two three four five five pieces so you take five five uh, one two three five folds and you have five pieces right okay And so, right, let's fold, let's fold accordion. And then I will show you difference. Will be maybe easier to understand because accordion style, uh, this is a key, right? Different folding. But it is base is actually accordion style. So now we are having accordion style. This goes in, out, in, out, in, out just stuck right you can see right you can see look right accordion style but that's not the way she folded uh, i think she said she's cutting this little bit short. i don't know why but i will cut it as well for you to understand better what's what so it would be like that so this would be accordion style uh, very beginning she starts with little little uh, like a flap or little envelope so let's pretend this is a envelope you can use envelope uh, you can use as well like double fold out so as well I'm taking here is just as well look I'm taking paper or base for that page or four and i'm just simply gluing on like that right so we are having now flap so let's get through guys can you i just have to make sure you can see guys all right we are going through 
little flip flips out when you do all these flips don't like you have to remember little bit uh, uh, push it out not straight in because you'll be when you sew in a signature it will be hard to close you need a very tiny space for signature or uh, to to stitch in right anyways <clears throat> you have little flip out or that first envelope she was using you are having then you are having your large pocket yes you have then is that funny bit look it's it is um accordion style is not what she was doing but if you first not to confuse yourself if you first do look accordion style so what's happening next is last last part you fold in and then this part you fold in again and this is a key this is a key right and you fold in again and then you close it so on now you have signature one pocket signature two you open signature three you close you turn it out and signature four so what was the key guys key is this is accordion style folding right up and down up and down so up and down up and down but instead of that this last flip so this we folding down so this last flip we folding in and this we are taking and folding in right and we and now this is like look like a journal and you close it i hope guys that's a clean so we have one we have pocket we have two we have three i'm not sure i can do here right but that's what she did one two three then we close it we turn around and we have four as it's, this is and that's it is actually easy but i went through that video quite a bit till i got it right yeah i had to go through um to understand uh what actually she is doing and yeah uh, to think through and then i tried first like i tried with this one and then i thought okay i will show you as well guys because yeah i understood that this is once more this you, you as i said not to confuse yourself you fold first in uh in uh accordion style and then this goes in and again in so you are making look you have to have just opening at the end just opening for one kind of journal yeah you have to fold that way you have this and then you close flip pocket right and you turn around and you have here so i really hope guys this is uh this so yeah your ski was folding these last two uh sections differently so that was a key very nice uh, all credit to that lady all right very nice journal very interesting folds absolutely fine uh, here as well you can do like two continue to flip out and fold in again that's um, you know you can afterwards you can add whatever you like wherever you like as well but this is a base this is how she did it with all pocket if you don't use envelopes 
but similar with envelopes would be similar you just have to open and here you have actual envelope and you just will have to open but anyway a, a folding bit is exactly the same and as i said i will be making this journal but i'm not using all uh i will be cutting on all these folding lines i will be just cutting a separate and joining together with uh, fabric strips and then stitching uh stitching uh signatures in the, into fabric to hold it properly right that's that's what i will do probably i will do the on a piatron but anyway this is what base this is a base 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 guys these two folds are the key last in and then in to achieve this right that's a that's a key right my lovelies i really hope this was helpful this was really helpful for me so thank you so so much for um showing me actually to pointing me out as there is journal you know i haven't made or maybe i kind of have a look so thank you so so much for that this was really useful very interesting so yeah let's see how this will turns out but this will be after another journal journals i'm making a uh, small a uh, small grungy collage style journals are still as well are coming so yeah a lot to see a little bits and pieces on papers on my in my shop uh to join my pattern of course for more and more and more <laughs> and more and more and more and yeah so let's see how it all goes okay my lovelies have a great sunday bye